If you think I'm sleeping, you'd better think again. My name's Tuffy McDuffie, and I can do more things with my eyes closed than most of the characters on this here horse farm can do with their eyes wide open. (laughs) How many times have I told you not to do that, cowboy? How do you expect me to run this farm properly if you keep interrupting me while I'm planning everything around here? I bring news from afar. Word of the Gypsy King. Or at least rumors. (laughs) Tuffy? (laughs) It's not Tuffy, McDuffy. It's Fluffy, McDuffy. Tuffy. That's Tuffy. Fluffy. (laughs) (laughs) I know on the outside you're Fluffy. But on the inside, where it really counts, you're Sir Tuffy of the Stables. In my books, anyway. What does a gypsy vanna have to do around here to get some oats? Come on, show me your move. I can take you. Come on, let's have it. Oh, he's so strong. Yeah! Do it once again. What? Come on. Do it twice again. Oh, yeah? Try this. He's indescribable. He's inexplicable. Or this! I never liked him much. He's so yesterday. We're very proud of the beautiful gypsy Vanna horses who live here. They were bred by gypsies in Europe for over 60 years. Isn't that cute? Aren't they so fabulous? I think I'll go get my hair done. (laughs) He wouldn't get away with that if the Gypsy King were here. But he isn't. Away on a mission in faraway lands on behalf of Gypsy Vanners the world over. One day he'll be back. I just know it. Oh, well, there really isn't anything to be afraid of here at the stables, is there? It never pays in life to be too sure about anything. Because later that night, a ruckus started, and it wasn't very pretty. A very nasty coyote named Cal came onto the property with bad intentions. He was scaring all the animals at the stables. Everybody over at the chicken coop was terribly frightened, especially the golden pheasant. That didn't sit very well with Farmer Jim. Get back! Back, you brute! This... this is our stables. Sir, a moment of your time. If you will oblige me. Cowboy was courageous in confronting the danger, but the wily coyote was too much for him. That's when Farmer Jim stepped in. (laughs) To 
keep Cal the Coyote from sneaking into the stables and terrifying the animals, Farmer Jim talked to his neighbor to the south, Farmer Dennis, and they brought in a champion kicker to solve the problem for good. <laughs> Get a load of that. Wow. Isn't that amazing? What a kick. But what is it? It ain't a gypsy vainer. Jack? In fact, it wasn't even a horse. It was a mammoth donkey. And among other things, donkeys are known for one asset in particular. And mammoth donkeys do it in a very big way. This donkey's name was Jack, and he wound up and gave Cal the boot. Time after time. After time. Finally, Cal just gave up, hit the road, and never came back again. Hear, hear, all noble citizens. Please take note. And on behalf of all of us here at the stables, we hereby present you, Jack, with the Stables Award for the most outstanding and meritorious conduct by a cantankerous, yet committed newcomer. This Jack the donkey was pretty popular. All the mares were a flutter over him. One of the Percheron draft horse mares named Elizabeth fell in love with Jack. Aw, ain't they sweet? Having a dream, making it real, was something I thought I never would feel. I never give up. They gave birth to a beautiful mule, or Molly, who Farmer Jim named Flo after his very own mother. This is my dream come true. This is my dream come true. Then he stuck his snarly head round the corner, and that's when I knew I had him right where he wanted me. I wound up with my back legs and my hooves, looked him right in the eye, and kicked. But you don't have hooves. But lady, if I did, it would have been awesome. Don't ever get between him and a camera. <laughs> oh, oh, oh I, I have an appointment. Or a quick exit. It's him, the Gypsy King. He's back, the Gypsy King. It was the Gypsy King, back for a spell from his travels. The stuff of legend. For Gypsy Vanners and those who love them the world over. That's royal blood that runs in his veins. And they say one day, Another as great will be born to follow in his royal footsteps. But when? Flo was lonely. None of the other horses wanted anything to do with her because she was different. Especially a bit of a nasty gilding named Morph who liked to tease Flo. She longed to play with her horses all day, but friends she did not have. Hey Flo, nay singing. Hee-haw! Hee-haw! And I love the ears! The miniature horse mare, Velcro, was the only one who ever came to Flo's defense. You really shouldn't ought to talk to my friend Flo like that, Morph. I really shouldn't ought to be slumming like this, Velcro. I think you're beautiful, Flo, and there's no one else in the world like you.
Farmer Jim, Farmer Dennis, and Dr. Pablo were pretty worried about Flo. They knew that what she needed was to have a foal of her own, but being that Flo was a mule, that was impossible. So Dr. Pablo performed a little miracle that went something like this. The critical conundrum concerning the propagation of a mule, like Flo, is a chromosomal conflagration. To wit, within the equine species, an equus ferris cabalus, otherwise known as a horse, has 64 chromosomes, while an equus africanus asinus, known by his bodies as a donkey, has only 62. These amorous equinous entities may produce offspring, in Latin, mulus somethingus, a.k.a. a mule. But said consequent mule has an anomalous 63 chromosomes, and although she is a wonderful mother, if given a splitting of a difference, she cannot reproduce on her own, ad hominem, ad hoc, ipso facto, etc. Yet, by combining two thimblefuls of fairy dust, 16 bits of smoky mirrors, a dash of mondo science, and seven grams of gobbledygook, we were able to magically give this beautiful mule her own baby. A glorious gypsy vanner. A miracle was on its way, she'd be a mother too. Now with her foe, her world was whole. This was her dream come true. And that's how it all happened. How the mule, who couldn't be a mom, became a mule mom. Inspiring mules everywhere. And how the royal blood of the renowned Gypsy King was renewed again at the stables. Flo gave birth to a beautiful Gypsy Vanna baby named Prince Deerfields. And he was magnificent. Listen to the story of a mule she became a mule mom not too long ago With help from Gypsy Vanners, a miracle took place A fool was born with beauty and grace A mule mom, a mule mom, they came from far and wide A mule mom, a mule mom, their hearts swelled with pride A mule mom, a mule mom, the love inside her grew This was a mule mom's dream come true All of the animals on the farm celebrated the miracle of Prince Deerfield's birth and the happiness it gave Flo to become a mule mom. The light of the world shine on me. Shine through the night, now I see. Your glory and your power are believable. And everybody knew one day, Prince Deerfields will grow up to be as great as the Gypsy King. Now, I'm going to catch up on my cat naps. 